Hi, how's it going? Welcome back to my very last video. It's a 17 year old. Yay. <laughs> I thought to kick off my birthday, which is tomorrow, if you're watching it on the day that it's uploaded, um, I thought I would share with you 18 things that I've learnt in my first 18 years on this planet. Number one for sure is definitely energy in, energy out. You can't expect your body to sit a three hour exam if you haven't had a full eight hours of sleep. You can't expect yourself to go through a 20 minute netball game if you haven't had a full meal before. You really definitely need to think of your body as a car to know that you need to be putting the energy in. The sleep, the food, the next one is kind of two in one. It's be honest and kind even if it kills. You've just got to tell the truth no matter if it's going to hurt someone or not because the truth is what is important. Um, and also just be kind. Kill them with kindness at every opportunity you get. Even though that's hard sometimes, you've really just got to keep smiling because your happiness is more important than theirs. The third one is you don't always have to look perfect. Something that I feel like a lot of people my age have to experience is going through pressures such as wearing makeup, such as looking a certain way, such as being a certain way, and those don't matter. You don't always have to look like you've just walked off a runway, or you don't always have to be in the flashest of flash gear. You know, if you're comfortable in your leggings and your hoodie, then you're comfortable, and that's the best bit. Number four, your things are replaceable, you're not. One thing that I learned when I was driving is if there's a scary driver on the road, get off the road. You, as a person, are irreplaceable, but your property is not. You are more valuable than, you know, your phone or your watch or anything along those lines. And it's really scary to think about, but it is something that you do have to think about. Number five is definitely roll with the punches. Um, I guess this is kind of self-explanatory. Just, yeah, go with the flow, roll with the punches. Not everything's going to be awesome in life. Some things are just going to suck. Number six is definitely study hard, even though I didn't do this very well. Make sure you always take the time to learn everything in school that you need to know. Ask those questions, because technically that is studying. Take five minutes out of your day to make sure you know what you just learnt. Number seven is another cup, quite deep one, and I've written those you want in your life are not always those that you need. This is something that I really had to learn. Those friends that are tearing you down and making you feel sad and making you not feel like yourself, even though you want them in your life for those good times, they're not who you need in your life because those bad times are outweighing the good and you need to put it in perspective and it's hard and it hurts. Number eight, exercise. I guess this kind of comes in with the first one. Taking the time to exercise is always a good thing. Even if it's just walking that little bit further or getting off that bus stop earlier, exercise is a good thing, no matter how much it sucks. Number nine, I've written keep writing. This is quite important to me because I really do want to be a writer. I really want to write things and it's an easy way that I've found to express myself and I think that's really important is to have a creative outlet. Number 10, I've put there's no shame in saying no. I think this kind of comes from me stretching myself out really, really thin. Sometimes you do just have to say no and yeah, sometimes you just have to put yourself first or prioritize school first or prioritize work first. Um, number 11, I put let the hate just wash over you and I think this is really something that I'm still working on. Letting negativity and hate just go straight over your head, go straight out one ear and just letting it not even affect you and just brush off. Number 12 is just say yes, and this is something that I've been really focused on this year, making sure that I'm taking every opportunity to be more social, be more adventurous, and to just enjoy life a bit more by saying yes to my friends and saying yes to other positive parts of life. Number 13 is 
one good friend is better than 10 lousy ones. This has for sure taken me the entire 18 years to realise that I'm not someone who likes a big friendship group. I am much, much happier with one amazing friend or two amazing friends than I am with an entire friendship group. Number 14, your music is the coolest music. I have a bit of a weird music taste. I like to listen to a cross-reference of things. I like to listen to certain more soulful music, a lot more ballads. My music isn't what's on the radio and that's something that that's something that I just have accepted and my music's the coolest music even if no one else in the world likes it. Number 15 is take time for yourself and be a bit more selfish. This definitely comes from just need a day to read a book or you do just need a day to watch a movie. You do just need a day to chill out and take time for you. In moderation of course. Number 17 is another really really important one and that is if you're not okay you need to give yourself the space and time to be not okay in hopes that you'll be okay which is something that something is really hard to kind of like comprehend and something that's like takes a minute to really realize what you're saying sometimes you are just going to be not okay and sometimes you need to say that you need to be like i'm gonna spend today being not okay and tomorrow i'm gonna spend the day focusing on getting myself to be okay again and that I think is really important. And the last one, a bit of a sweet one, is that you don't know all the answers. I think as a teenager you want all the answers and you want to know exactly how everything's going to work out. As you get older you need to realise that you're not going to know all the answers. Knowing all the answers isn't in the be all and end all and sometimes not knowing is the best. So yeah, that's a bit of a more serious video for you guys. I hope you like it. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>